Sarah, welcome to The Daily English Show. Today is mistake day and I thought I'd talk about something which I thought was a mistake but it turns out that it's actually not. This came off the top of a jar of tomato sauce and I thought they were trying to write tomato ketchup but wrote ketchup by mistake. But I looked up ketchup in the dictionary and I found out that it can also be spelt like this and like this. So there you go, you learn something every day. And I also learned that the word ketchup comes from a Chinese word. By the way, in New Zealand, people don't usually use the word ketchup. We just say tomato sauce. Today we're starting a new part of the Daily English Show. It's called Click Here, and it's going to be once a week. And I'm going to introduce a site that I think is interesting or useful for studying English. I've introduced sites before, sporadically, but now it's going to be more of a regular thing. A few people have suggested doing this, by the way, too, so thank you for your great suggestions. Today's site is called Free Rice. Thanks to Thomas for emailing me and telling me about this site. On this site, you can increase your vocabulary, and you can help hungry people, too, because the money they make from sponsorship on the site they use to buy food for people who don't have enough. I wouldn't recommend it for beginners because the words aren't that easy. It's really aimed at native English speakers, but I think it's also useful for intermediate and advanced English learners. Kia ora. in stick news today, New Zealand has suspended exports of tomatoes and capsicums. The New Zealand Herald has reported a debilitating bacterium was found in three hothouses in the North Island of New Zealand. MAF Biosecurity New Zealand is now investigating to find out how the bacterium entered New Zealand and about its transmission and distribution. A spokesperson said initial findings suggested the bacterium may be transmitted by a small insect called a jumping plant louse. Exports of tomatoes and capsicums have been suspended until further notice. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 4th of June. Kia ora. Today's word is cretin. I found this word while playing on the free rice site. Cretin is another word for imbecile or very stupid person. Do you think that site will actually work? Yeah. Why can't they grow their own rice anyway? Is rice difficult to grow? Free rice? Yeah, I, th I think it will help. I mean, one website won't solve the whole problem, but I'm sure it will help. I think a lot of the people that are hungry are refugees, so it's not like they can suddenly make a rice field in a refugee camp. I'm not really sure, I've never tried to grow it, but yeah, I think you need the right amount of water and stuff. And it takes time, you can't just grow it in a couple of weeks. Which country is the world's biggest rice producer? A. Bangladesh B. China C. India D. Indonesia E. Vietnam China Which country is the world's second biggest rice producer? India Which country is the world's third biggest rice producer? Indonesia which country is the world's fourth biggest rice producer? Bangladesh Which country is the world's fifth biggest rice producer? Vietnam And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye!